Today, Governor Christy Noem signed Senate Bill 189 into law at the South Dakota Air National Guard based in Sioux Falls. And the legislation started with Noem's executive order to restrict state and local government from doing business with six foreign governments. Kevin Lauren Solig takes a closer look at the bill and how the governor believes the law will protect South Dakotans. The South Dakota Air National Guard uses jets to protect the United States. Governor Kristi Noem says Senate Bill 189 will also protect the country's national security, but in a different way. I can't think of another bill that we did this legislative session that has a bigger impact on the next generation than the one we're signing into law today. The law will restrict state and local governments from contracting with six, quote, evil foreign governments. Those governments include China, Cuba, Iran, North Korea, Russia, and Venezuela. It is part of their foreign policy to destroy the United States of America, clearly through their actions that they take, the fact that they are not republics, not democratic countries that truly do embrace not only just human rights, but also the rights and freedoms of the people that live there. Senator Jim Stalzer, a Republican from Sioux Falls, was the bill's prime sponsor. He says he's worked with a group called China Tech Threat, which found South Dakota had spent $30,000 over the last five years to buy computer and networking products manufactured at companies owned by Chinese interests. These two companies being owned by China collect data and that the Chinese law says that any data they collect is property of the Chinese uh, Communist Party. Noam says this bill will keep personal information the state has on South Dakotans out of the hands of countries like China. We hold a lot of private information that it's extremely dangerous if it gets into the wrong hands. We've taken steps to make sure it's going to be safe, but we're also going to take steps to make sure we don't allow the wrong people to access it. In Sioux Falls, Lauren Solick, Kelloland News. Senate Bill 189 passed the legislature with little resistance, only receiving two no votes in the Senate.